This is one of Brant Flay's three paved roads. The tumbleweed town is 600 kilometers north of Cape Town. Of its 5,000 residents, the local welfare office estimates 90% are unemployed. This is where 72-year-old Eva Mateus lives. She shares this three-bedroom government-subsidized house with 11 other family members. She says social welfare is keeping her family alive. Just think about how things would have turned out with all these kids. Where would things have ended up? No man, the government looks after them. In town, a small crowd gathers outside the welfare office. Roughly 600 social grants are paid every month. They keep the town alive. Nationally, the situation is the same. More South Africans receive aid than have jobs. And it's been this way for the past five years. For 22% of South African households, social grants are the main source of income. This adds up. 60% of government spending is allocated to the social wage. That's welfare grants, free housing, health and education. There's little danger of the grants going away though. On the contrary, welfare is being expanded. For most residents in the town of Brandtvle, it's the only thing putting food on the table. Angus Bennett, Bloomberg.